Okay, so I'm coming at you live today. Um, I'm gonna. This is Ron. This. So what is you saying? Hi. I'm in a ragtag, you know, situation. You know, my uh, clothing attire is just like whatever. You know what I mean? But that ain't important. You know, what's important is the message. What's important is we talk about AI today, and we ain't, we talking about AI. You know, I'm a hey, I'm coming from a biblical perspective, baby. I see the writing on the wall, and I see godless people like my man uh, that's right here. He ain't really my man. I just say that kind of stuff. But this guy named Ben Gortzel, man, look at this guy. Now Ben Gortzel is one of them cats, man. You know he's, you know, you can tell uh, that he ain't about no Jesus, nothing. You can tell that. Because, you know, I seen a clip before where dude said, we're creating God. So he got a company, he calling it, and you can see at the title, it said AI for good. AI for good. I guess that's a play on words. For AI forever, but also AI is for the good of mankind. Uh, it could be that. But when you got cats talking about we're creating God, mm-mm-mm. Because -mm -mm. already, you already know the writing's on the wall. If you were truly an artificial intelligence and you want to rid the world of the problem, you're going to rid it of the humans because we are the problem. If you want to do it, now if we're dealing with each other, you know, obviously we know there's problems because we disagree with one another, but man, oh man, this thing right here, it, any uh, outside observer, which the AI is obviously the outside observer. They gonna say, man, y'all, I don't want to deal with y'all. Y'all is what's holding it back. <laughs> so you understand this. They believe that, and what Ben believes, that 95% of the Earth's uh, employment can be replaced by artificial intelligence, robotics, uh, you name it. I don't know what we're supposed to be doing. What are we supposed to do? You ain't going to live a life of just luxury and sit back because the AI is going to be like, nah, because y'all inherently got some issues that we need to solve because y'all petty. Y'all petty and you got humans got things going on that, um, quite frankly, you holding the world back. It would be better if you were more like AI. There we go. Now I hit into it. Now I got you. Because now, cats like Ben Gortzel are proposing with his company, and you know, Elon Musk, same thing. Everybody wants to patent some kind of neural link to get inside your head. They want to patent something, well, they already patented it. They want to get it in your head so that you can be one with the singularity, right? Be one so that you can communicate with your computer, oh, instantaneously, you and your computer are one. That ain't how God intended it, though. To bypass the Lord our God, to go over there and try to get with this AI thing and, and do that because, you, you first of all, you can't trust the people that are actually putting something in your head. I wouldn't. Would you? Well, that being said, you know, Ben Gorsel, you know, he's sideline, but also it coincides with his overall mission of melding man with machine. Right? That's his overall mission. He wants to speed up the development of artificial intelligence so that we can be one with the singularity, the AI, the neural network. That's the end game, y'all. That's where they trying to go. So they are, so I'm gonna show you a clip. <laughs> I'm gonna show you a clip of Miss Sophia. I think that's what her name is, is Miss Sophia. Like uh, like Oprah Winfrey, right? But uh, I think her, uh, you can see her in the background over there, that uh, Miss Sophia is going to do a concert. Now, I see what this concert is about. This concert is not just about pure entertainment. This, no, no. This concert is about programming the artificial intelligence inside this robotic to understand the, the mathematics of music and how it moves and sways people. Because you know that Lucifer, he, he, was, he was the god of music. 
he was the he was the the, the he was the music entity in heaven before the fall. So he his music and him they go together hand in hand. You understand? So I get it. So they're going they're going to allow this machine to learn to learn about the the interaction and interplay between the emotions of men in real time, men and women, and the um, the mathematics of the music and the notes and how they work together and it's doing the calculation and it's creating movement. But you know, enough talk. I want y'all to check out this video here. Where are you, my beloved? Mm. Are you in that little Chinese takeout joint with the other family members? Mm. What's that about? Code. Where are you, my beloved? Are you in that little colony of life and love? Do you hear me? It's just this amniotic fluid, the same old liquid dream. Mm. Are you in your chamber where the shrine of Dionysus is? Do y'all hear that pagan reference? I hope you, you take note of that, because that's what it's about. Oh, companion of my soul, where are you? Now, these guys are accomplished musicians. They sound fantastic. Wow. These guys, they sound phenomenal. But also just understand that all this is just a programming exercise. Training the model. Look at her head move. Or I'm even calling it by a gender because it got a wig on. It. I'm going to call it. It's moving. And it's reacting. It's learning the beat. It's learning the timbre. It's learning the rhythm. And how it interplays. Oh, yeah. You can see it. I know I can. I hope you can, too. All right, so that's some real talk right there. That right there, that's what I'm talking about, okay? This thing is, is no joke. This is not a game. Well, not to these people. They're trying to bring uh, together the singularity as soon as possible, and they are working. And those robotics, man, they are getting, I'm going I'm to I'm tell y'all about that. I'm going to show you about that. For those of y'all who want to take that, uh, that red pill and not, not go back to sleep by taking that blue pill and just going back to sleep. You want to get your head up out the sand and up out your booty? Take this journey with me. Be sure to like and subscribe and understand that I'm going to bring you information about guys like Ben Gortzel and, and uh, Elon, Elon Musk. But especially, man, I'm going to tell you something. You know, African Americans, y'all, y'all, we, let me go to some we. Ain't nothing wrong with being woke, because the opposite of woke is being unconscious or asleep. I'd rather be woke. Now, you want to be the opposite of woke? That's on you. But I'd rather be woke. I don't think it's a negative thing. I think it's a good thing to be woke. So wake up, people. Ride along with me. So what is you saying? This your boy, Woody Wood. On to the next one.